Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my video. Today I want to show you guys how to change out a closure on a full, on a closure wig. Um, so as you can see, this is the before and the wig will look like this once it's done. So here's a little close up of the closure itself. And as you can see, it's you know got some normal wear and tear some balding up top and that's completely normal especially with wavy or curly units where there's going to be a lot of detangling going on so i already started taking it apart and i'm going to be using my small little scissors that i got from a nail kit but if you have a seam ripper seam rippers actually work even better so you can get a seam ripper from walmart um anywhere really where they sell sewing um, utensils a seam ripper will go even faster than this Now that we have our closure off, it's going to look somewhat like a U-part wig and we're going to get to the good part. So you want to take any kind of wig cap. I usually like to use whatever wig cap that I used to make the wig, but it really doesn't matter too much because most of that cap is going to be getting um, cut off once you're done anyway. So you can use a kid's cap, you can use a mesh cap, you can really use any kind of cap you want. And then you want to lay down your closure as if you're making a full, a whole nother wig. And just make sure that it's nice and flat. And then just go ahead and stitch your closure right on. So once you're done stitching on your closure, you just want to braid the hair out of the way. So it's just out of the way. And then you're going to take your wig that looks right now like a U-part wig. You want to take that and just place it right on top. It's kind of like putting a puzzle piece on. So I always tell my customers that I don't like to replace the closure that's a different size than what they already had. So if they had a four by four inch closure, then I'll replace it with a 4x4 four four inch closure. 5x5, five five, same thing. Now you can replace the closure that's a different size, but it's just going to make your job that much harder. So I would say to tell your customer, or if you're doing this for yourself, replace your closure with the same closure size. This one is a 5x5 five five inch closure. So you're just going to take the wig, place it on, and pin it and just make sure that it's pinned in the right spots make just I think I use about five to six pins if not a little bit more you're just gonna go through it's pretty self-explanatory you just go through and just make sure that the wig matches up to the closure So after you get your wig pinned into place, all you need to do is just sew the closure onto the wig. Basically just making sure that you're stitching right through from the closure into the 
the old part of the wig. Go ahead and take your pins out and this is what it'll look like. Now the next step you want to do is just take it off, turn it inside out, and just take off, cut out the inside of the, um, the cap. Now this part that I'm showing you right here is completely optional. Um, I like to reinforce my stitch with my sewing machine, being as though this whole wig was made on the sewing machine to begin with. I like to just reinforce it, but like I said, this step is completely optional. If you look really closely, I think I'll show it again. Um, I kind of messed up on one part. The cap kind of gathered, which is completely fine. I've done that a couple times before where the cap, um, when I put it on my machine, it kind of gathered on me. All that means is I just have a little extra cap to have that I have to cut off. So don't worry about that if that happens to you. You can see it right there. Um, I have a little extra gather in my cap right there. So I'm just having to cut a little extra off because I put it on the machine, but all you need to do is just cut it off, make it look as neat as possible, and then cut this part off as well. And that completes it. course had to wash and deep condition and tone down some of that color here's a reminder of what the before looked like and here comes the after Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Take care.